question. Ed, Ed Lynn, I, and Ed Lynn, I don't know, Miss Gonzalez. <laughs> question, have you ever chased a girl that cut off contact with you after bonding with her? Have I ever, so have I ever chased, well, have you ever chased a girl that cut off contact with you after bonding with her? Be honest. I'm trying to think. So I've certainly been needy in my lifetime and I have chased women who weren't that into me. And in a few cases, I was able to win them over. What I found in those few cases, not that they cut me off, but the fact that they weren't into me very early on, even though they began a relationship with me, something was missing. And I think the fact that they cut me off early on was a really good indication that we were probably misaligned with one another. So in retrospect, I, I look back at any time I chased a woman, any, every single time I chased a woman, it's never, ever, ever worked long term. It's temporarily worked for the short term. But for whatever reason, I do believe when we reject someone right from the get-go, there's actually a good reason for it. When we have resistance for someone, there's a good reason for it. And I think from a spiritual perspective, it's because they weren't the right person for you. So men are two things. First off, I want to drink some. By the way, my coffee mug says, let that shit go. And you might notice I'm wearing a linen shirt today. But men have men can operate from a place of chasing a woman because it's a competitive thing for them. Men can be highly competitive. So the chase is the competition to hook you temporarily so they can get that need of getting you early on and then they dismiss you. This is why men who come on strong and then disappear, it's because oftentimes they were hooked on the chase. This is why ladies... I know you've been indoctrinated that men love the hunt, men love the chase. Most of the time, the hunt and chase is merely to temporarily con conquer you. It doesn't necessarily mean wanting to be in a full-blown relationship with you. Then there are men who are needy, like I was very needy in the past because I had an anxious attachment style. And if you're not familiar with the book Attached by Amir Levine and Rachel Heller, I highly recommend reading this. I had an anxious love attachment style. So when I was rejected by a woman, I sometimes would become needy and try harder, or sometimes like my penis would shrivel up and I'd disappear. Um, but again, it only temporarily worked because I think ultimately our spirit knows who's the right person for us right from the very get-go. We just don't often listen to our spirit. Oftentimes it's our ego or our insecurity that's driving the bus. Let me repeat that. It's our ego or insecurity driving the bus in, and not our heart-centered space. This is why I'm such a big proponent of reading the books I recommend. In fact, I highly recommend reading Spiritual Partnership by Gary Zukoff. This is a great book to tap into your spiritual side, as well as If the Buddha Dated, If the Buddha Dated. Oh my God, this is a great way to tap into into your spiritual side to navigating life. And you might find that you find, meet a partner that's more aligned to who you are and what you want. So that's my invitation. Um, uh, Ms. Gonzalez, thank you so much for that question. I really appreciate it. All right, let's keep swimming. <laughs> 